welcome once again uh, on this channel, your studio. I am glad to have you here again. We are actually on the Bank of Ghana's website, and our aim here today is to learn how to actually calculate the three month treasury bill, the six month treasury bill, and the one year treasury bill. Yes, it's actually a big problem for a lot of people and some of my audience, some of my subscribers. Well, I've been getting messages. So, if, well, if you send it to me, I am actually treating it today. Now, uh, I don't want to make this video so long, boring, and then no. So, we are going to start. I actually sent you all to this website because we need to get the actual rate for this week. Okay, yeah. where we left, okay, so we are, okay, let's get to, okay, so you can see from here that this week started from 27th, 27th April 2020, okay, and you all know where it will end, okay, well, it's a one week treasure bill from here, sorry, one week, it's Go on for one week, so from 27th to the end of this week, and from this 27th to the end of this week, this is how it will go. If you decide to buy a treasure bill, okay, this week, it will depend on which bill that you actually went for. If it is a three month, which is 91 day bill. Your rate is 14.0251. If you went for the six month treasure bill, which is 182 day bill, your rate is 14.0317. And when you went in for the one whole year day bill, it is 16.7395. Okay, 16.7395. Now, let's calculate to know how much okay you will earn if you decide to invest uh five thousand Ghana cities in each of these bills okay yes let's say we have three people one decided to invest it for for three months okay for three months the other one decided to invest for six months the other one decided to invest for the whole year so how much are they going to get okay this is what we're going to do right now and to make things short i'm going to use my calculator you see here yes you will need to just record some things down okay yes so let me just see if i have yes i have my notes part also here okay so let's go the first thing we need to actually note is that is the rate okay is the rate so i will just keep this thing here let it go down there the rate for the three months is 14.0251 and because it is three months okay okay let me just come here the rates that you see here are all per annum rates. It means that they are all yearly rates. It's for one year. Now, when you come here, 91 days is not up to one year. It is three months. And how many three months makes one year? So, from our calculation, it's simple. 12 months is equal to one year. When we divide, okay, the 12 months by by three okay because this is three months and we have 12 months so 12 months when three you divide it by three we will get four times three months in a year okay four times of the three months in a year so this means that the rate that you see here which is 14.0251 is three times uh, four times of three months so what we are going to do is that we are going to divide the 14.0251 by 4. You 
you understand yes so 14.0251 divided by 4 because you have four times of the three months in one year and you are investing for just one this is for one of that of those three months so we divide the rates to get for each of the three months and that is what you are going to look for and that is three okay and this is 3.506275 let me just write it somewhere here so this is for just three months okay so three point five zero three point five zero six two seven five this is three month bill okay let's get down there and come back here this is six months okay 182 day bill and this is six months how many six months makes one year it is two okay six months makes one year it is two so we are going to divide this rate by two it's just a simple way for you to understand what i'm doing okay how many of the six months makes one year the first six months comes another six months one year so the rate that you see here is per annum it's for a whole year it means that this is half of it so we are going to divide this by two so one four point zero three one seven okay divided by two it's seven point zero one 7.01 7 .01. okay let me come here okay 7.01585 okay this is six months now you all understand here i don't need to explain something here because this is the whole year bill it's one year and the rate is one year so if you decide to keep it there for the whole of the year then you are taking 16.7395 as the interest everything is for you so let's come down here one year bill is 16.7395 okay a year bill. now let's get back to our calculator and see how much each of them will get investing investment of five thousand Five thousand Ghana cities. So it's simple. Here, we should understand that here are all in percentages. They are all in percentages. So all those things, okay, all these numbers are in percentage. So we are going to calculate for the first one, three months treasury bill. Currently, today, 29th, okay, April 2020 the day that i'm doing this video so we are going to know if you invested your money of five thousand this week how much you are going to get okay so this is it three point three point five zero six two okay seven five because it's a percentage you all know it we are going to divide it by hundred so this percentage divided by 100 how much are we going to get 0 0.03506275 then we multiply okay by the amount that we want to invest which is 5000 so here you are getting 
175.31375. Let's get to the second one. It's the same thing, okay? Let me see if I can copy it here. Unfortunately, no. So let me come to this part. Let's see the six month. The six month is 7.01585. Oh, sorry. 7.015. Okay. 7.01585. You first divide by 100. And we are going to multiply by the amount we want to invest. And that is 350 cities, 79 pesos. Okay. Something like that. So 350.79. Two five seven nine two five. That is what you are going to get at the end of the six months. Okay, and then this is the interest alone. Okay, this is the interest alone. Let's get to the year. If you decide to go on the year bill, okay, it is going to be the sixteen. Okay, sixteen point. Seven three nine five seven three nine five. We are going to divide by our hundred because it's in percentages. Then we are going to multiply by the amount one, two, three. Boom. It means that you are going to make eight hundred and thirty six point nine seven five, roughly eight hundred and thirty seven Ghana cities. Okay, so I think it's just simple on how to do the calculation. Okay, you got to know how to do the calculation. Yes, you should also understand that treasury bill is a risk free investment. Yes, there is no loss of money here. And even if the government isn't having money, they will print money and still you have your money in there. So that is it. Okay, this is how to actually do the calculation. If it's a six months divide by two, the rate that you see, the interest rate divide by two, use the rate left and then do your math with it. It is in percentage, don't forget that. So you need to give divide by hundred and multiply by the amount. And when it gets to the three months, you have three times of three months in the year, which makes it twelve. So we just uh, divide it by four. One of it is the interest rate, and then yes. Our next video will talk about which of them is the best. Yes, which of them is the best. And we are going to use calculations to do it. If we decide to invest it for the year, okay? And you will all get to know the power of compound interest. Okay, yes, the power of compound interest. I just love that word, yes. The power of compound interest. So, thank you very much for coming here. If you are a new member, kindly subscribe. If you have any question, leave it in the comment section. Okay, like the video. If you are new, subscribe and then. But it is easy to leave your questions too. Okay, and every question leave there. We are going to discuss it in the video so that you get much more details knowledge about where you put your money right here so thank you thank you thank you and let's go okay oh let's meet in our next